Hello everyone. It's me, and today we're going to talk about how to change your physical appearance with law of attraction. So first of all, I am Bambi, I am an Asian European. And technically I'm a writer for a decade now, I'd been studying the law of attraction for a year, and I'd been making subliminals for a year but I only decided to upload my works on YouTube. So if you want to help our small community grow, please subscribe, ever views and subscriptions means a lot to me. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is law of attraction? It's simply attracting things that you are focusing on and where your vibration currently focusing on. When you become vibrationally aligned, or emotionally matched with something, you will attract it in your life. It's the law of their universe, and the seventh most powerful universal law of all. So our very first and most important step, the root of every manifestation is self-love. Self-love is the most important thing in manifestation because with self-love, you are currently aligned and in harmony with the universe, and you are ready to accept your manifestation. But maybe, you ask, how could I able to love myself if I'm only using the law of attraction to manifest physical changes so I can able to love myself? Well, ask yourself, what are you using to see the beauty of the world? What are you using to smell flowers? What are you using to listen to your favorite music? What are you using to taste your favorite food? What are you using to hug your beloved? What are you using to walk around and travel the world? It's your body. Without your eyes, you cannot see. Without your nose, you cannot smell. Without your ears, you cannot hear. Without your mouth, you cannot eat. Without your arms, you cannot touch. And without your feet, you cannot walk. So why instead of being ashamed for how you look like, be grateful for what you have? Your body was the only one who always with you, I know I'm being brutally, honest, but it's a sad reality, that everyone will leave you no matter how they promise they won't. And yourself, your body, is the only one who will stay with you, it's so sad that your face, your body has been with you all these years, in good times and in bad, but even once you never show love or any affection for it. How will you feel if you are with someone whom you totally love, and you, care for? You were with them for years, but even once, they never love or appreciate you. You feel bad of course, that's how your body feel as well. So instead of hating yourself, your appearance, love it, because no one deserves your love more, than yourself. And when you do, you'll start seeing changes, wonderful changes. Because no one wants to change when you hate them right? Love them, and, they will change for you. Second step, affirmations. If you don't know what affirmations is, affirmations are positive sentences that was written in present tense. Affirmations are very helpful because affirming affirmations in repetition can help you reprogram your subconscious mind, and it will accept the changes faster because your subconscious mind is a faithful servant of yours, it's a wonderful gift of God, and it will turn the things you think impossible, possible, when you start saying whatever you want instead of saying what you don't want. Third step visualization. If you want to know what is the most powerful manifestation method is, it's the visualization. Affirmation is not enough, since your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference of reality and imagination, it is very important to visualize clearly what you want especially when you are affirming. For example, you said I love apple. Your subconscious mind will think about what you said like, I love apple, I you are talking about yourself. Love you're talking about something you love. Then when you said the word apple, your mind will be, huh? What apple do you mean? There's a lot of apple, there's a red apple, there's a green apple, there's an apple phone, there's an apple watch, there's an apple laptop, what apple are you talking about? But when you visualize what you want at the same time you affirm, like, you said I love apple and you visualize a red apple, your subconscious mind be like, ah oh, you love red apple then your subconscious mind will believe it and adapt is as your new reality, that's why visualization was important. Fourth step. The law of assumption. Law of assumption is a powerful law invented by Neville Goddard where you will leave as if you already have whatever you want. Law of assumption is just assuming that you already have what you want. I don't really know how to explain law of assumption very well since I only use law of attraction, but in able to manifest. What you want using the law of assumption is to affirm using the law itself. Affirming using the law of assumption is just like, I am beautiful, I am gorgeous. 
you are focusing on your assumptions. Affirmations in law of attraction is I am grateful because I am beautiful. You are focusing on the feelings. And affirmation using the law of vibration is, I am love, I am money, I am wealth. You are, becoming the vibration. Pardon me, but I don't know how to use the law of vibration in manifesting physical changes. But you can use the law of vibration for self-love. Fifth step. Turn your insecurities into appreciation. Maybe you saw a beautiful model on social media or an ordinary person walking around with a physical appearance you desire, and you feel envy. I can tell you, all of the people, has their own insecurities too, even the models themselves, and I got to the point of my life that I feel so insecure because I used to have a boyfriend, I got three different boyfriends in different times, it was all on distance relationship, but all of the guys that used to be my boyfriend had cheated on me. Until now I feel so insecure and I start feeling conscious about myself, because I grow up, without care about my physical appearance, people are telling me to use makeups and to fix myself like a real lady, but I often said I had no interest in that because I don't care how I look like. I grow up with no friends, I grow up with no crush, I grow up with no idol. I somehow have a crush on someone but it doesn't change the fact that I still don't care about my appearance. Until I had been, cheated at, worst thing is one of them compare me to the girl he likes. It hurts me that I had been cheated at three times. And I still become conscious about my appearance, everyone pointing out to my crooked teeth, everyone telling me that my body was not exactly like my age. Everyone keep telling me that I should fix myself and become matured enough. It builds my insecurities. But do you know, what I did? I just look at the mirror confidently and say, I thought she's beautiful, but when I look in the mirror, I saw a beautiful goddess in her biggest glow up. I feel so confident and happy and every time I saw my friends who has the appearance that I want, I compliment them, because I realized if I just hid myself in insecurities, it won't help me, so I just starting to appreciate them for, having the appearance like that and telling my subconscious mind, look baby, I'm so happy for her that she have that. It's cool. Trust me, it works. Just remember, what you put in your mind, and nourish it with repetition and emotion will someday comes true. Law of attraction works when you ask, believe and receive. Ask for what you want not what you don't want, believe that your manifestation is, already done. And prepare your vessels to receive. And most of all, detach yourself from the outcome, because you are born to attract, not to chase. Your desires are just like your crush, when you let them go they will start chasing you. Because whatever you want, wants you to. Today, all the answers to your prayer has been in your mind, the universe loves you, the universe wants to see you, happy, the universe wants to see you reach your goals. And it will all start when you know to yourself that you have the power to create changes. Just remember, you are worthy, you are deserving, you deserve all the best, something wonderful is already happening behind the scene and it's meant to be. Just trust the process, trust yourself, trust the universe, because when you start trusting, yourself is when you start trusting the universe, because you are the universe, you are the creator of your own reality.